how you're doing peeps, this is Plod or Not to Plod. I'm at my next location, which is Braintree Police Station. So, so it's tucked up at the back of a Sainsbury's car park. So, let's have a butcher's. So, this is another Essex station. So, yeah, so let's just see what's what. Uh, that's the area for brain tree. time three cups all on the balcony they, were, they weren't expecting to see me <laughs> oh look got themselves some nice little picnic areas <laughs> they definitely weren't expecting to see me Surprise for them, and um, all three of them ran in. Let's see whether or not, yep, it is open. Uh, at least this one's got some information. I've been here. And that's all fenced off. Uh, you can see there are a few people in that office there. So he looks like one there. So I'm good. So, uh, there's the one 
of the assets. And there is your phone. There's disconnection. And another one. Nine until five. Unbelievable how our local shops can be open for longer than what our police stations are. It's really quite insane when you think about it. It really is. So, let's take a wander. Now, I know I sort of cut through a little bit of a wooded area to get round the back. So, what I'll do guys, is i just walk over to where the actual wooded area is. Uh, I'll just show you where I sort of got to go. And then I'll cut the camera until I get to the other end. Apart from if anything happens. So, I basically need to go down there and all the way to the other side and then yeah then I'll be at the back all right so I'll cut it there and I'll be back in a minute so I've just got to the other end of the path and we come out onto this quiet little residential road and the station is just up here the back part is Uh, and we'll find out how many cars they've got knocking around in here. There we go guys, whatever ridges you can see, check, make sure they've got MOT, tax, if not, report them, as they would do to us, so, and that's basically what is the best thing to do, so, and then, I'll come across here, and Centre part here. So. Afternoon. Afternoon, how are you? I'm good. Good, good. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, no, first of all, could you identify yourself for yeah, me? Yeah, I'm PC 81461 Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Is that helpful? <laughs> Sorry. So 81461. No worries, okay. thank you. Just having a look? Yep, just having a look. Uh, and hopefully have some form of conversation. Yeah. Uh, with someone that's actually on duty. Uh, I'm on duty, yeah. That's cool. Uh, so, quick thing, I don't know if you're aware, but during 2021, uh, Essex Police had the second highest rate of assault against members of the public. Okay, were you aware of that? I'm not aware of any of this, but like, if you want to get in touch with our media department or anything like that, then... You have that, to, that's the problem, that, okay? Sure. Everybody tries to get hold of the media, unless you've got something good to say, they don't yeah. want to know. Well, unfortunately I'm not part of it though, so... Okay. Do you mind if I ask, how long have you been on the force for? I... I don't, like, I don't need to answer. I just need you to know, like, uh, you know, you... Obviously you have a right to be here, you're welcome to film. Um, obviously, I just wanted to let you know that we're aware you're here and everything else. Yep, yeah, well I'm just a member of the public, yeah, asking, of yeah, asking totally straightforward right questions. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I'm just, I'm not going to answer your questions. I'm just letting you know, like, there's a way that you can get in contact with us if you need to. Okay, so you're refusing then to actually assist and actually help me with some questions? I'm just letting you know, yeah, that I'm not the person to ask about this. Because I, I don't know any of those figures, yeah? You've obviously done your research, you've looked into everything. I don't know that the, the figures 
or anything like that, so I can't give you a, an accurate answer, can I? Okay, fair enough. Is your duty sergeant on? Uh, I can go and ask the sergeant if they would like to come speak to you. If you could, that'd be great. All right, no worries. No worries, thank, thank you very much. So, as you can see there, guys, or what it was, was falling on deaf ears. Just sort of wanted to sort of try and swing the balls a little bit to say, yes, we know you're here. Uh, well, of course you know I'm here. I walked into the front reception. But then, when you look, uh, they won't answer a single question here at Braintree. Duty sergeant won't come out about you. Why is he going to come out with his warm little office for? Definitely be a first if he does. Well, that's a great way to start your car up. <coughs> Afternoon. This potentially could be the most work he may do on shift. Oops. There's no way is that a duty sergeant. Yeah. know what you're doing and become a copper. If you're too embarrassed to walk out then that's your problem. You've got a few coppers there, it looks like getting ready to actually go out. Oh, the sun's just catching me there. Need a big old unit.
Avoidance away. I'm good. Just, I'm not going to ask you to stop or anything like that. It's fine. You do what you do. But what I'm going to ask is that you just don't stand here because we'll have cars coming in at speed and stuff. Just yeah, but I'm perfectly fine on here. I understand you're on yep. pavement, but I just want to reassure you yep. that you could get hurt. I won't get hurt on here. Okay. Uh, your sergeant three seven three one six eight. Yeah. No worries. Thank um, you very much. All right. If you want to stay there, that's fine. Yep. But we'd let you know that it's no fine. worries. Cool. Thank you. Well, well, where you got that centre bar there, if they were to actually hit me here, right, then they shouldn't be on the road. Then they shouldn't be on the road. But then when they're coming into the station. Yep. Just also, just to reiterate that, I don't know if you noticed, it's the wrong side of the road they come out on. Yep. So no, I, normally I got look, that, yeah. Where you'd normally look left, you'll have yeah. to look right. No, I, I, got, I got that on the, when the last one went in. Go on, big lad. No. <laughs> Are you going to tell me where I can stand? I'll stand where I wish to stand, not where you want me to stand. Um, that's what I will do. Don't forget what I say, guys. Uh, double check all the regs, make sure all the regs all, all check out and are all tax and insured so just make sure that you get all that done It's a really strange one that they're always so concerned about about where we actually stand even though I'm standing on what we know as being part of the actual pavement but they're more concerned about that instead of actually upholding the law and protecting our rights and that's often where another problem lays so and yeah it's just a joke so you can see here guys right where i'm standing so you've got a great big solid center bar there that's completely fitted into the ground and then where i'm standing as you can see there that's the central pavement part that you can see there and it goes all the way to there so if they were to mount here, okay, then <laughs> driving without due care and attention, reckless driving, it can be a number of different things. And so, and it's just unbelievable that they try and make up small little tiny bits of crap just to sort of try and sound good. They're just in their gang. So what I do guys is I'll give it a few more minutes uh, and then I'll most probably call it a day on this one. I think what it was, was when I first went round the other side uh, I don't think that they were too keen that I that I pinged them all for standing there all smoking <laughs> so because they all ran in uh, so yeah as I just said guys don't forget all their regs, check their regs and check for uh, tax and MOT and all the rest of it and if 
it hasn't got it, then report it. A wonderful world in which the police are more concerned about where you stand even though you stand on the pavement uh, that they're more concerned to do with one of their cars driving too fast and being reckless well how can they drive in too fast? Okay, the gate will be shut for one. So, you got to be a bit of a pillock, really, if you ended up doing that. So, as I said, guys, check the ridges. see whether or not they do have MOTs and so on. So what I'll do guys is I will wrap this one up uh, and I will leave it at that. So don't forget peeps, be good, take it easy and I will see you on the next one. Be good peeps.